Hey guys, Jason to Paint Sprayers Plus, and in today's product spotlight, I'd like to go over Fuji's six foot flexible whip hose. This is probably one of Fuji's more popular uh, accessories for their spray systems. And uh, I know it's kind of hard to tell just looking at a picture on a website uh, as far as what this thing can do and uh, whether it's a, a, a option that you need to add to your uh, Fuji system. So I figured I'd take just a second and kind of go over it and hopefully it'll, uh, it'll answer whether it's an option that, that, uh, that you need. Um, so normally when I get a call and I get a call on the whip hose, I'll answer it uh, that you know if you if you spray in various angles if you or if you have the you know if you're required to spray an angle so if let's say if you need to get inside of a cabinet where you know you're going to be needing to maneuver the gun around or uh, furniture where you know you've got a lot of areas to get into uh, then the whip hose does come in really handy um, but if you do uh, just you know basic spraying, let's say it's mainly just um, stationary stuff like doors or something where it's, you know, back and forth. Normally I'll recommend just going with the regular um, turbine hose. But I figured I'd take just a second and uh, kind of hopefully this will be portrayed in the video a little bit uh, of how flexible this is compared to the standard hose. Uh, their standard hose uh, is about as rigid uh, as a good quality garden hose. It's about the same size as well. So it is, um, you know, it is pretty rigid, um, but it's designed that way so you can get, you know, years of use out of it, dragging it around the shop floor and whatnot. And uh, and it will get a little bit more flexible than this uh, after the turbine's been on for uh, five or ten minutes. Um, you know, the warm air will soften up the hose and it will become a little bit more pliable. But uh, let's see, if I attach the uh, the gun there. Uh, and again, if we were just spraying back and forth, um, it's no problem at all there. Uh, or up and down, um, again, it's not really, not a lot of movement there. Um, but if we were to start spraying at various angles, so let's say I needed to get inside of a cabinet, or uh, angle upside down, or spray you know, the tabletop, you can feel the rigidity of the hose push back against you, so as you're spraying, you can feel you can feel the hose kind of restricting. So to kind of show you what the whip hose does is if we disconnect the gun and detach the quick coupler there, the whip hose just attaches to the main hose, just one in there, and then attach the quick connector to the other end of the whip, and then attach the gun. And the whip is attached and I don't know if you can tell but it is a lot easier to maneuver that around versus the main hose. So again if we, we were spraying this tabletop here um, it's just there's for one there's not a lot of weight there uh, which is nice. Um, the, this hose is very light normally when you're spraying you hold one end of the hose in one hand and the gun in the other so uh, this is it's a a lot lighter uh, and two if I had to maneuver this around at various angles to get into spots uh, obviously by its name it flexes so um, let me see if I can give you an, another example of the flexing of this is if I take the coupler off there and if I were to take the main hose and try to tie a knot in it that's about as tight as the smallest it's going to get. Again, it's a pretty rigid hose, but it's a well-made hose um, by design. Whip hose, because it's a lot lighter and it's got, it's got the corrugated rings on it, we could take that and tighten that down to a really tight knot. So, that is my brief demonstration on the whip hose, and uh, hopefully that kind of uh, maybe helped you in your decision as far as whether the whip hose is a, is a good option for you. As always, if you have any questions on the whip hose or any other products that, uh, that we have, you're always more than welcome to give us a call at the number here on the screen, uh, or you can send me an email. And as always, thank you for watching.